Hey guys, here's another edition of Day in the Life of Vintage Classic Specialist. You can see we've been moving cars around for those of you that have been watching the channel. And we actually have the two chassis that have uh, come back from powder coating are actually in position now to start those builds. So this one, for those of you with a, a keen eye, would notice that this is an IRS pan. So those of you that follow us know that this is for the 69 EV Beetle. So I'm going to be focusing on that one when, uh, when I get to it here soon. And then let me just walk over here. Over here in this corner is the pan for the 64 One Family Beetle. And this is, of course, its transmission. No, we're not converting the car to front wheel drive. Ha ha. Anyway, transmission sitting there in front. But uh, yeah, so we're actually gonna be, I think, making a massive shopping list for these two chassis in the next day or so, and to the point where we can start assembling them. We've got some more powder coating and painting that needs to be done for the 64. I believe for the 69, uh, there's a lot of new parts for that. Again, that one's gonna be a fairly high performance car with uh, suspension and huge brakes and so on I, everything is either new on that or we've already had it powder coated so this one's actually going to be uh, ready to go together pretty soon other than ordering some bushings and some some new hardware and things like that so yeah very exciting that uh, those two projects are really gonna gonna get moving in a in a real way here uh, this car the 69 the body is actually being painted we should have the body back in full paint here in I don't know, maybe a week or so, week and a half, we'll see. And the body for the 64 is in the body work, uh, metal and bodywork stage right now. So that's those two, but yeah, very, very exciting that we moved cars around. We got those two chassis in positions where uh, we can kind of leave them there for a while and, and work on them. Uh, so those are two really good spots in the shop there and, and back there for, for building cars from the ground up. As far as the other cars today, Rafa worked some more on the 61 Gia. We got the fuel tank sender in it, and he spent a lot of time doing what Rafa does, which is detailing the engine. The engine was just kind of a mess. I mean, it was a nice engine, but a lot of details of it were, uh, should I say, had a lot of room for improvement. The wiring was just kind of a mess and kind of ugly. The the coil needed the, the right sticker on it. Just a, a lot of things to kind of tidy up the engine and, and make it look really good. The air cleaner uh, needed some love and it got, of course, new hoses and so on. The battery uh, needed some, some uh, help here. We had to fabricate or actually take a battery strap and modify it so that it would work for a Gia. That's a Beetle battery strap, but it's appropriate for this car you just have to modify its length a little bit and then the battery cover with a little piece of wood in it that prevents it from shorting out so just some nice little touches like that to tidy up the engine compartment so yeah that was most of what rafa worked on today a lot, a lot of hours taking care of those little details in there for my part uh unfortunately today was one of those days where being uh, a shop uh shop owner shop uh, manager Spent a lot of time running errands and, and talking to customers and talking to vendors and uh, had to run home to do something. But I did manage to completely strip the front beam, front suspension, front steering, etc. for the 64 Beetle. So the beam itself is ready to go and have paint done on it. We'll actually do a little, I guess you could call it body work where you can see not sure if this is going to show there's just some minor pitting on this but we're going to take care of all that make sure this thing is very smooth get rid of any of that pitting there uh, you can maybe see a little bit here better but yeah this thing is going to look like brand new when we're done with it so yeah a little little body work on this thing essentially and then paint it's going to look brand new some of the other suspension components will also be painted there's some other things that we powder coat depending on what they are so hopefully within about the next week or so, we'll have the complete front suspension, brakes, et cetera, for the 64 done. And then of course that can go on the pan and 
as I mentioned earlier, the transmission's done, so we can start bolting that up. I think the, the cradle mount for the, the bell housing end is, uh, is going off to powder coat. So when that comes back, yeah, so hopefully in the next week or so, you know, we're just going to have a pile of parts for both of these chassis that are ready to, uh, to start installing uh, or start, you know, basically building these things. And then likewise, as I mentioned earlier, the body for those two cars or bodies for those two cars are coming along too. So yeah, it's going to be fun to watch those two. I think these two builds, the 69 EV and the 64 One Family are going to be going very much uh, almost like neck and neck as far as their progress is concerned. So it's going to be kind of cool, I think, to see those two very different projects go together, uh, you know, almost in, or well, not almost, in, in parallel with each other. I think I'm probably going to focus on the 69 and Rafa is going to focus on the 64 and will probably be, you know, more or less neck and neck working on those. Not not that it's a race, but again, I think it's just kind of neat that they're at the exact same stage and they should be progressing pretty pretty evenly with each each other for the most part. So on the 57 today, uh, not too much on this car today. I uh, put a new uh, Bowden tube in it. The old one had a had a split in it actually despite being new and um, if any of you saw the the uh, tech tip video I did the other day, the Bowden tube was installed with absolutely no bow in it at all. So I got the new one installed and, and properly shimmed on it to have a, about one inch of droop in it. So that's about it for today. Um, pretty exciting day in a lot of ways. Again, just kind of kicking off um, the, these two projects, these two ground up builds here, the 64 and the 69 and um, you know giving the shop a little bit different look just by virtue of moving cars around it's just kind of fun to see see it looking a little bit different the way things are arranged in here you know it's kind of like moving the furniture in your house sometimes it just makes it feel kind of new so i don't know maybe it's kind of lame but i thought it was fun to have things moved around a little anyway that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and uh, please like and subscribe thanks